I have my design open and in brilliance and the first thing I need to do is select my majestic hoop. So I go to the hoop properties, choose multi position and select the majestic hoop which is 350 by 360 and click apply. Now I'm going to click OK. Now when I'm looking at this design it's going to want to split it right in the middle down here and try to match up all these little lines going in this direction. I think it would be easier to rotate your design and split it horizontally. So I'm going to select my design and click rotate 90 degrees by clicking the button here at the top. Hit the center button so that it just is in the center of my hoop. And now it's going to split it when I save it into these two sections so that it's going to, you're only going to have to line up a little bit of these little tiny lines. It's going to be a lot easier to do. So I go to file and I'm going to choose save as stitch file. So save stitch file as. And I'm going to make a folder on my desktop. And I'm going to call this. Um, majestic hoop. You can call it anything you want, but this is just for me so that I have it here. It asks for a name, and this one looked like a deer, so I'm going to do um, uh, name it Split Deer so that it creates its own thing. I don't need to, um, if I need to choose my VP3 format, I would choose it here at the bottom. There's usually a, in Windows, there'll be a pull down menu that says uh, choose your format. I'm going to click save and the file is automatically split. I know this because I when I open up my Windows Explorer, I'm going to be in Finder, but this is the Windows, what, same thing will look like in Windows Explorer. You'll have two files. This is my folder with my two files, the VP3 1 and 2 and you will load both of these into your machine when you have your majestic hoop selected and use your precise positioning to um, align up these two little lines because you have a line in each one of them and one this one's going to go on the left side this one will go on the right side it tells you right there in the name and line it up in the machine so that they're exactly even and you'll be good to go